Hello and welcome to another workflow walkthrough. I thought I'd share one of my own photos this week while we're all stuck at home. It's a good time to go through your catalog and do some processing and maybe learn some new software tools. So this is one of the images from my uh, recent series that I'm calling Off Season. Uh, we spent a little time at the Jersey Shore this couple of weeks ago and was struck by how different it looks when you're there during the off season versus uh, when you're there during the season. This is one of our favorite hangouts. So I was drawn to take a photo of this place. Uh, during the summer, you can't get within uh, 30 feet of this deck because there's just so many people around. So it's interesting to see it completely empty. So one of the reasons I wanted to use this image uh, is to demonstrate a couple things. First of all, it's going to let me show you the perspective correction tools inside Darktable, which are pretty pretty nice and pretty handy for architectural work. And I'm also going to show you how I'm going to use some of the color balance treatments to give this a little bit more of a uh, desaturated look that fits with the theme of the project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply lens correction, which is going to make up for the barrel distortion that uh, comes from my 12 millimeter focal length on my Olympus lens. And you see I shot this from ground level. So, you know, we have a little bit of perspective distortion and I'm also uh, off center a little bit. So there's a slight, a slight tilt to everything. So we're going to do the perspective correction. Uh, that is going to be over here in the uh, special tools module and I have perspective correction and I have choices. I can per, uh, correct the perspective only for vertical distortion, for vertical and horizontal distortion, or for everything. So I'm going to go ahead and pick everything. And Darktable is going to throw a whole lot of lines in there and it's going to say, okay, these are what we think are vertical and horizontal lines indicated by uh, blue and, and uh, green and uh, those look pretty good to me and I can come in here and say I want the automatic cropping to be the original format so I can stay with my 4x3 and if I'm happy with that done simple quick very effective nice straight lines everywhere nice looking building it no longer looks like it's leaning back away from me so I'm happy with that I'm not don't need to do anything else now I'm going to come into my crop and rotate tool and I'm going to just make sure that the top of this building is even with the top of the frame. It's off by a very slight amount. So we'll go ahead and make that correction. Good. So that's about all we need to do as far as correcting the perspective in this image. <clears throat> now I want to go about giving the image the look that I'm that I'm after. So uh, first thing I want to do is look at my overall exposure. I'm pretty happy with this. I think I'm going to bring up the mid-tones a little bit to get the uh, face of the building sort of where I want it to be. So let's just say a half a stop, about a half a stop uh, additional exposure there. I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into the Filmic RGB. I'm going to turn it on leave it at its defaults. I'm going to change the middle gray luminance to 18.4, which is what middle gray should be. And then uh, now I'm going to adjust my white and black sliders to get the look back to where I want it to be. Yeah. And that's pretty good. Now uh, I'm going to go in here to look. I'm going to reduce contrast. I'm not really interested in having a high contrast image here. The fact of the matter is the lower the contrast, the better. And I'm going to turn the extreme luminance saturation down even more. It's normally at 5%. I'm going to set it at 10%. What that does is it makes the, a digital image look a little bit more like film. Uh, those of you who are familiar with film know that the brightest areas of the film and the darkest area of the film have very low saturations. The bright areas tend towards white and the lower areas tend towards black and they don't really uh, display a lot of, of color. So that's what I'm going for here. 
<clears throat> let's see let me go back to my basic adjustments and let's turn the brightness up just a little bit again I'm looking for that slightly washed out beach feel I don't need any black blacks or any white whites but I want everything to sort of fall in the middle I'm pretty happy with that okay now I'm going to go into the color balance module and uh, I have a preset here that gives me a, a, a look that's sort of like Portra. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And what that is doing is if we look down here at the sliders, if we look at the highlights, it's adding a little bit of yellow into the highlights, yellow to green, and it's adding a little bit of blue into the shadows. And then or into the midtones, I mean, and then in the shadows, it's uh, adding a very small am amount of green. The, the whole thing is pretty subtle, but it's also turning down the saturation. We see the saturation is at 80%. I'm going to come up just a little bit on that. I think I'm going to go to 90%. Bring back a little bit of that red here in, in the building. And now uh, I'm pretty happy with this. This has the color that I'm looking for. So now I've adjusted the perspective, I've adjusted the overall exposure, and I've adjusted the color. Now I, what I want to do is bring a little bit of uh, selective sharpening to play here. And to do that, I'm going to use the contrast equalizer. So I'm going to come into the contrast equalizer, and I'm going to come up here to the where it says fine. So I'm adjusting fine details. Uh, I'm not too interested in making adjustments to the coarse details, but we'll take a look. So add a little fine detail and we see that the letters on the sign they they give a nice uh, nice little jump after that without too much change yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good and we get a little bit more uh, a little bit more definition in the in the paneling okay good contrast equalizer satisfied with that and now let's see what happens if I add some larger feature definition mm, don't really need that I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to go back here and just put the small feature definition in. and that is going to be I think just about it for this image I'm happy with this it has a nice consistent look with the rest of the images in the series and uh, it's exactly what I'm looking for a nice washed out blues uh, bright overall a little bit stark looking perfect so I hope you learned a little something from this. Now let's take a look at where we were before and after. So we're going to take a snapshot of it as it is. And we'll go back to the original raw image. And then we'll look at our... This is the image before. And this is the image after. Now, you may or may not like it. These are aesthetic choices, but the purpose in me doing this is to show you how to make those choices, not to tell you what choices you should make. All right, everyone. Enjoy your lockdown. Have a good day. Goodbye.